Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com Today in this video we are going to talk about how we can do the collaboration in test project. So this is going to be very easy and in test project we have everything already given. We just need to see how to use it. So first of all we'll talk about why we need collaboration. I will also show you how to invite another team members so that they can get the project based permission and they can start working on it. And finally, we'll also talk about the roles and permission. So if you create a particular user, then what roles he will get and how he can invite another, another team members, how we can make that particular person as an admin, we are going to talk about in this particular video. So let's talk about why we need collaboration. So main thing for the collaboration is to reusability. Or I will say the more collaboration you have, the less time you have to spend in the maintenance phase. So let's say I created one script, which is let's say login script. And this particular script is going to be used by all the team members. So one option like each and every team member is going to write or record this login script. But again, in this case, duplicacy will be high, right? Everyone will have the same piece of code in their project. Another option is I can share this particular project with all the team members and they can also use the same script for their particular uh, script right so they can just plug my particular script or they can run my script as a login first and they can continue with their execution so collaboration always help for reusability and it will definitely reduce the maintenance of your particular script so let's see how we can do all this thing by test project so let's see how we can invite team members for collaboration first step you need to log in with a user which has the admin rights then only you will get this invite teammate button option. The moment you click on invite teammate button option, you can see you need to provide the team members email address and that particular guy will receive an invitation link. Right now I logged in with my current user. So I will show you the current user which I have is my Gmail ID and I'm the owner and I'm the admin of this particular account. And right now you can see I have invited as zero. It means I have not invited any teammates till now. So either I can click on this button or I can click on this button. You will get the same form. So I'm going to log in with a different account, which is also my account, but with a different email. So I have another email which is selenium 3 by Mukesh Otwani at the gmail.com. And the moment I click on next, it will ask you which project you want to assign or you can make this particular guy as an administrator. Then he will also can invite the different team members. Right now, I don't want to make this particular guy as admin. So I want to give only permission for this particular project. The moment you click on finish, you can see this particular confirmation that invitation has been sent. Now I have to log in with this particular email and I have to accept the invite. Okay. Now you can also see the couple of options here. You can directly change the option directly from here. You can make this guy as admin or you can change the permission as well. Okay. You can drag and drop to manage the project access. And in case this particular guy is not receiving the invite, then again, you can resend the invite or you can cancel the invite. So let me log in with this particular account and let me accept the invite. So this is the email which I got from test project that test project.io and uh, you will see you are invited by a project member and you need to just click on join the team and it will show you which particular user has invited you for this particular project. The moment you click on join the team, it will redirect you to sign up with the test project. This is only one time activity for that particular user. So you can see this email is already filled. So just I have to fill the, uh, fill the full name and the password. So I will put like Mukesh uh, Otwani 2. Okay. And, uh, and password also I will give same. Just click on accept the agreement and click on sign up and it will automatically redirect me to the login page where I can see all the project which is assigned to this particular user. Now I will quickly log in with the same user. So it's my email again. So you can see right now I have and for this particular user, you will again get the same thing like since it's a new user, you will get all this help section. So we already are familiar with test projects. So I'm going to close this particular section and yes, don't show me this notification. So now you can see this. Okay. Close anyways. So you can see right now I got only one project which is, which is assigned to this particular 
user since this particular user is not admin he is not able to see that particular button called invite teammates if you click on this particular project you will see all the test cases and all the jobs which is created for that particular project is already here so you have all these jobs which we created all the tests which you have created and very interesting part you can also see the elements which is created for this particular project so now it's a kind of sharing the moment you create one particular element all the team members who are having the access for this project they can share this particular web elements okay so it's kind of one person has created few elements so everybody on the same project they can you reuse it so maintenance will be very less when you work with this manner and you can also see the application so these are the applications which we added for that particular account now let me quickly uh, make few changes if i can make this guy as admin okay you will see it will do a quick refresh and immediately we got one you know notification here that apply permission changes the moment you click on ok and since i have changed the permission this particular user will also have the admin access and this particular user can invite another teammate this is one of the cool feature from test project where you don't need to go through a se separate setup for invite your team members and provide the access everything you can do directly from their portal you just need their email address and you're ready to go this is one of the cool feature from test project and you should use this feature which will make the maintenance task is very less so i hope you like this feature if yes then hit the like button share with your friends subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye